mostly what gets those fish going is that action brings more action. We start chumming the pilchards and the snappers get aggressive and then here come the goliaths. And then you catch a couple of goliaths and here comes more. Look at that, look at that, I got another one, double Sweet. header, double header. Oh, Mine's right next totally together. bigger than yours. But then along the mangroves, I just see this one, I mean a real nice one, long as my leg or longer. That's a good one. Hello, Mr. Big Ol' big Goliath. I've always wanted to come up here and fish, you know, your, your water and hopefully apply the things that I know about Goliath grouper fishing in the lower keys and, and you know, hopefully they're going to transition to, to this area up here and it's exactly what we found. I, I was, you know, absolutely 100% amazed that, I mean, you know, we went to one spot. I picked out a, a random event, I mean, a place where I knew we'd have some fairly clear water and, you know, honestly, I, I've caught snook there, you know, occasionally in a pretty good snook bite. Um, and I've seen a few glass. God, it's awesome in here, man. Beautiful water. Look at how clear the water is. You know, what was interesting is it was we had the bait, and I was figuring we'd snook fish, and you wanted to look for glass. And, um, you know, we went there, and I was expecting snook. We showed up, um, trolling motored in like I normally do, stopped, you know, way out away from the trees, because these snook, you know, can be, I mean, not just under the trees, but out in the channel as well. Um, started chumming some pilchards, you know, immediately saw some pops, and I was getting excited thinking the snook were there. Um, ended up, those were those were probably barracudas, um, but but no snook, you know, and I was kind of getting disappointed that we weren't getting that snook bite. Well, that's par um, for the course for me, because we don't have the snook population in the lower keys like you guys do up here, and finding snook is kind of a bonus, and so going into a place like that, I'm, I'm expecting to to see Goliath groupers and and it was perfect man everything was absolutely perfect I mean the water was absolutely just crystal crystal clear like an aquarium I mean it really was like an aquarium in 12 15 feet of water I can see straight to the bottom and and we weren't able to see the Goliaths in the first spot but I just knew they were there because it was a deep undercut it looked like it went way back in there and I mean in a spot like that you could probably see as many as as 20 or, or more there and some of them that are as big as the ones that we would find in deep water out on the wrecks. I mean, 120 pound fish could, could easily live there. That was really cool. I mean, I learned a, a lot because that was a spot that I'm so familiar with. And, and clearly the thing that, that separated the way you're fishing it um, and from the way I'm fishing is, is your patience. You know, you're going with a jig head and you're throwing up toward the trees and you're letting it sink down and, you know, before I, I knew it, you were hooked up. Got him? Good fish. What do you got? God, I love this kind of fishing, man. You just never know. You never know what you're gonna get. It's a good fish. Yeah, it's a Goliath. Yeah. Right there, yeah. All right, nice job. Favorite. That's a nice job. That's a good one on 10 pound, man. That's man, a real catch, good one on 10 pound. I catch these on 10 all the time, man, because you're going in there to, to snapper fish. And that's when you get the best fishing, really. That's a nice fish. I don't yeah. know if you saw where I cast. Yeah, right in there, huh? Well, I'm not going to tell you because <laughs> usually <laughs> if you catch one, you catch another and another and another. Very nice. Very nice. Nothing's changed about these guys. Nice job. Still can't take them out of the water. Uh -huh. He's got a little remora on them and everything. I mean, that's a solid fish to be able to go up to an island, throw in there and catch. That's probably a... 10, 10 pound, maybe 15 pound grouper, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. Look at that little remora. Anytime I catch a fish with a remora on, I mean, you, go, you gotta think, if you've caught a fish dominant enough to support other life, <laughs> it's a good thing. We just let him go. Goodbye. Nice job. 
And hello. Give me one of those. We'll catch another one right now. You got the spot, huh? Yes. I do, actually. Where's the other one? Look at that, look at that. I got another one. Double header. Double header. Oh, oh right next totally to you. totally bigger than yours. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. Surround yourself with what matters most. By Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. By Mercury, number one on the water. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. By Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. And by Under Armour, Yeti Coolers, Marine Formula Stable, and by Power Pole. You know, we tried tried some different baits and different stuff, but but wo mostly what gets those fish going is that action brings more action. Those fish are in there, and they are just just they're an ambush feeder, and they're sitting back in the shadows or just kind of poking out a little bit. And you know, I envision it as as that they're just kind of tightly packed in these areas, and they're just sitting there waiting for an unlucky whatever <laughs> to come by. And you know, we start chumming the pilchards and the snappers get aggressive and then here come the goliaths. And then you catch a couple of goliaths and here comes more. I'm getting a bite here. Got, Got it. it. Good job. That's a big goliath. Oh boy. Get him out, get him out, oh boy. I could not believe how many fish were in that one spot. I mean, that deep hole, the first one we've started at, I would, I've gone to that spot hundreds of times, and I've, you know, I'm sure those glass have been there in the last They've five years, there. but I've, I haven't fished them, I haven't known how. I've been fishing for snook, and that means I go there and I throw out a bunch of chum, I fish up, up on top of them mostly, and if I don't get a bite, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't let it sit, sit on the bottom, and if I do, it for not, not for any length of time. So now that you know, I've you know, seen your technique and, and unbelievably how many fish are there, I'm going to take advantage of it a lot more often. That's a, that's a good fish, man. Beautiful fish. Nice job. I like that technique, perfectly too. perfectly camouflaged he is. In the rod holder, rigging up another rod, and he still catches them. Yep. Pretty impressive. Yep. Cow roll, man. Nice job. He's gotten something. Look at that. Somebody bit his tail off. Wow. Check that out. Both, both corners. So he's got two Somebody two came chunks. in here. Look how much darker he is than... And the last one, look at that spot on his tail. Huh. Somebody just, a crescent-shaped bite out of his tail. Wow. See that? I wonder a bluefish, maybe. Bluefish or a, uh -huh. or a, uh, like a little shark yeah. of some sort. You just barely got away, big boy. <laughs> well. But you didn't get away from me. <laughs> nice job. I like that. I catch these things all day. No problem. You, we don't have to go fish for anything else. Good. I love these things. Because I got a lot Any of size. spots back here that look just like the stuff you've taken me to. So it was really educational to me in more than one way. I mean, the, the one was just taking the time to be patient enough to, to, to sit there, rig up, and fish for them. And two, just the fact that there was that many under there. I would have never believed in a million years that there was that many in that one spot. You know, when we troll and motored around us, after we had a few bites at the deep hole, I saw two fish, two goliaths, you know, right. in, in that 10 pound range, sitting right on the outside of that Immediately, log. power pole. I can see a goliath sitting right here. Do you want to get, I can see two of them. Power pole down, power pole down. You know, as soon as you could see those fish, I, I put the power pole down immediately because I knew, okay, if you can see one, chances are there are more there, and chances are there are more there than you can even imagine. That's perfect. Just let that fall down and you're going to be in business. Oh, could have been. Well, there he is. He ate it. Gosh, I didn't even see him. He was like invisible. <laughs> He's, He's invisible. Group. I mean, you talked about how they blend into the bottom. I mean, I just felt it and I couldn't believe I was feeling it. Uh-oh. Did you get the big one? Mm, I don't think so, but I got I got one. Good job. I knew you couldn't let me catch catch the Well, I didn't I, honestly I swear I didn't mean to. Oh yeah, you didn't mean to. That. You accidentally slipped the cast under the mangroves and accidentally catching them. Nice job. That's a good one. That is I'm a good one, catch, but I'm it's gonna, not the one. I'm gonna catch the other one. 
Okay, look at that. I got another one. Double Freak. header. Double header. Oh, Mine's right next totally to you. totally bigger than yours. Well, I'm on a totally little ride. I just got under the trees. Now, what I'm going to do is try to get mine off of here pretty quickly. While you're still fighting, I'm going over your line. Keep your rod low. While you're still fighting, I'm going to try to get mine off of here and keep chumming or something, man, to keep this Look, thing going. I got going, mine coming know? through. Double header, baby. That's awesome. Double header. I just have to reach for this right <laughs> That's awesome. How cool is that, man? I can see another one right okay, there, too. Okay, we got to keep... I want to get this one off pretty quick because we got to keep, keep stuff moving, you know? Uh-huh. Lots of action or well this one is that quite is nice quite one. nice <laughs> that was cool i know okay this guy is going back in there right away oh look at it ah is that so cool there he goes nice job nice. man here do you mind while you're right there okay oh look good little cute <laughs> baby one. hey at least you let me catch one yeah you're right man this ain't every day Look at that, that was perfect. Yeah, that's nice. That D-hooker works I never great. even had to touch that guy. Look at him. Look how orange his fins are and how camouflage he is, man. Uh -huh. He blends that's right, right in. There. Look at him blending let right a, in. Let me get a thing of bait and throw it up in there. Very, very, very cool. That's unbelievable, man. That spot was awesome because it had crystal clear water and those fish could see for a long way. They could see anything that was going to be coming there and then the tide was ripping by them. It was pouring by them and that grass was all bent over and, and here we are. We stopped with the power pole just above those, those fish and, and we're in the perfect position. We can see them clearly because there's white sand. We, we can see where they would go if, if they get hooked. But then I can also now, because we caught so many there, I can clearly see why they would be there. That, that current had, had washed out an area underneath that tree, and, and it was probably a good three or four feet deeper there. It had probably collected a whole bunch of, of old grass, and it was just a perfect, absolutely perfect ambush point for those fish. And they are just gonna sit there in that current, and you know, if they get bored and nothing's coming by, they're just gonna sink down, and, and just sit there, but they can go because, you know, there was a little hump there, and it's just like a trout in a stream, man. There's a little hump there, and so it, it, it disperses that current, and, and all of a sudden, they can just sit there almost, almost effortlessly, just holding the in there. Well, that was it. I mean, there was more there than I can imagine. I mean, I knew there was two. We ended up throwing in there and immediately hooked up one, and we had hooked up another one. We had a double header right off the bat. I mean, catching two nice ones, you know, that was incredible, and, you know, at that point, I'm thinking, wow, we caught the two that I saw, right. you know, and thinking, wow, this is great, you know, and I enjoyed it, and we had them on the lighter rods, and it was really cool, and, and I mean, just an awesome fighting fish, too, because, I mean, the power to stop them from getting in the mangroves, I mean, they have some incredible power, and then once you get them out there, they're, you know, really a cool-looking fish, so aggressive, I mean, a lot of fun to catch, and after we let those two go, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe there's one more in there. And we just kept throwing in and kept getting bit. We kept chumming, kept getting bit. Oh, there he, he just ate it. Oh, oh he just ate it. Just ate it. Just ate it. That was just like a tailing bonefish. Oh, almost. man, came that was out, a cool bite. Like, tailed on that thing. That was a cool bite. Now, this is more <laughs> common, you know, to where we is. get one bite. That was and, really, really cool. And then there's there's seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, twenty of them under there. <laughs> awesome, man. Absolutely yeah, I'll awesome. Just, I'll just try to I keep it going, I can't man. believe there's this many under there. This is the fourth fish out of that one hole we put and it's so shallow. Man, what an overlooked fishery. I mean, I, out of all the guides and stuff up in Alamada, I don't know anybody that you know specifically targets these on a regular basis like this. Well, you know why I do, right? What's that? You know why I target these fish? Why? One reason, because it's really fun. It is? <laughs> I mean, truly. This is like, well, I mean, I can take my kids to do this, man, and, and they're catching these fish that they can barely handle. What is a kid gonna remember? Yeah. A kid's gonna remember a big old mean fish that looked just like a bass. Wow. Big teeth. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, that's a nice size fish, right? Sure there. it is. On a light rod, I mean. What if the biggest bass you ever caught was 
with six pounds and you came down here and oh, that's a 10 pound and, fit and man. did this and right that, now if now if uh what amazes me too is that we came here and i was expecting to find snook i totally thought that we'd you know see a bunch of snook there he goes nice job beautiful look at him swim away look at him swim away and there's no snook and i would have left if you weren't with me, I would have left. It would have been over. I'd have gone to another spot. Heck, we might not have caught a fish all day. And here at the same spot, there was a total bust for me as far as the snook or redfish go. We've caught a bunch of fish. Yeah. An awesome fish, sight fishing. I mean, that's really cool. The use of a power pole in shallow water is absolutely revolutionized inshore shallow water fishing and is now making big strides in the bass market as well. Power pole is a simple device there. I've got it on every one of my boats now and couldn't even imagine not having it. It actually becomes standard equipment on most shallow water boats. With the help of a remote control, the power pole makes inshore shallow water fishing incredibly more efficient. I can be up there running the trolling motor around looking for fish and when I see a fish, I can stop the boat instantly just by a push of a button, have the boat in a perfect position to take my time and make cast after cast without spooking that fish. Without the power pole, I'd be trying to, to move the boat around with a, a push pole or a trolling motor and making a lot of noise, a lot of movement just to try to keep the boat in one position. Or I'd have to try to get an anchor, run to the back of the boat, drop an anchor, making a lot of noise. So the power pole silently and instantly stops the boat in the perfect position for you to catch those big fish. XK Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. By Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Lowrance, we lead, we find, you win. By Guideline, optimum performance on and off the water. By Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. And by Thumbdinger, Buff Headgear, Scott Fly Rods. Navionics and Loadmaster. I mean, even in a spot like that, I was like you, I was expecting them to be, you know, a certain size. And we caught one or two, and I thought we'd probably catch six or eight, maybe more there, all about the same size. But then along the mangroves, I just see this one, I mean, a real nice one, long as my leg or longer. And it just kind of came along because, again, it heard that commotion, and here it comes in there to check it out. And I saw it swim down the mangroves, and I was like, oh, man, we're going to be we're gonna be camping here. You know, I start pushing the power pole, making sure it's <laughs> down in there really good because we're not going anywhere. And, you know, getting out the, the bigger rod and the heavier uh, circle hook and the, the blue runner. And I have that there because I think, okay, I'm going to see that fish come out. And then I'm going to pitch this bait to it because I thought maybe the bait was too big for some of the ones that we were seeing. Yeah, that's... Oh, there, there he is. is. You got oh, him? That was a small oh. one. That was pretty small, but he's, he, I mean, that's certainly not the one I'm talking about, but. But you don't think we should fish smaller rods at this point, huh? Well, I don't know that that one's gonna come out and eat something smaller. You got him? You got him? Yeah. Good job, man. Come here, boy. Come here, little boy. You want me to try to work the troll motor the other way? No. Oh, oh there you get go. This guy oh, out nice here. That's Hello. A good one, That's a good one. Hello, Mr. Biggle. Man, they are getting big. Goliath. Ha! Nice job. Wanted man. you a little blue runner there, didn't nice you? Nice job. Look how many pilchers big... he just coughed up. He's been eating those pilchers, huh? <laughs> that's a that's a big fish for two feet of water that under the bushes. Now that one could be the one I saw, man. You Look at all the pilchers he's coughing up. Look at wow. all that. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable, man. Nice job, dude. Unbelievable. Nice job. Man, I would have never in a million years. Oh, I got it. I would never in a million years believe that a fish that big was under that shallow spot. I'll tell you what, man. Now that I see him swimming in there, maybe it could have been the one I saw. Well, well, well done. Do you hand me that D hooker? Here, I'll get him. Right. You can get him. Nice 
job. Well done, man. Very impressive. Tell you what, man, that's fun. That is really fun fishing. I'll tell you, you really taught me something, man. That's a... Uh, I would have never believed that there was this many here. Not so tough now, are you? I've fished. That is a nice fish. Look at the mouth on that guy. Good grief. Can you stick your finger in there? I don't think so. <laughs> that's a big fish. I would have to think that's 50 pound fish. Well, or better. In the, in the in the old days, not only could you eat that fish, but you could pull him out of the water. Nice. And they've slowly put more and more regulations on them, and they're getting more and more, more and more prolific everywhere. Well, there are fish everywhere. Now, I mean, after you've taken me down there in the lower keys and shown me this, I, I kept thinking it has to be just you know down your way, but I've just never targeted them here. Not like this. I mean, you a lot of it's why. having the right bait, man. I mean, like you see, we were fishing with those pilchards. We could have kept fishing with those pilchards and, and we might not have gotten that guy to come out. He was smart. He was staying under there. So we never saw that fish, right? That's right. We only saw him swim through there maybe, but we never saw him come out. And, uh, okay. It's an awesome yucker too. Nice. Well done. That is a great fish. That's nice awesome. job. I fished this spot a hundred times. And I've only caught like one Goliath. We came here today and just catching them one after the other. <laughs> wow. Bye bye, Miss Joe. Look at him go. Accommodations provided by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. Surround yourself with what matters most.